sit down here. I'm from this country, and it's just a person of this country. We lived here like thousands and thousands of years ago. My old people, and then I came. Daniel Gabuma has lived in Australia for as long as he can remember. Although he was born in Papua New Guinea, he identifies as Torres Strait Islander. The community is here, Boiguala. My family are all Torres Strait Islanders. And uh, I'm a Torres Strait Islander. That's the only thing I knew when I was growing up. But Daniel is not an Australian citizen. He was granted a permanent residency visa in 1986, but it was cancelled in 2018 after he was convicted of common assault and sentenced to six months in prison. But after six months, they were waiting at the uh, reception of the Lotus Glen prison. The Australian government wanted to deport Daniel back to Papua New Guinea under the so-called Aliens Power of the Migration Act. He was placed in immigration detention in Western Australia and held there for more than two years. I couldn't sleep. I had nightmares. I was traumatised. But then, in February 2020, the High Court of Australia delivered a landmark decision. The High Court has found that Aboriginal Australians are protected from deportation. They can no longer be removed um, from, from the country that they know. Lawyer Claire Gibbs led the historic case. Her client, Brendan Toms, is a New Zealand citizen who identifies as Aboriginal. And everything's all good at home. He was also facing deportation. It was the first time the court had, asked, had been asked to consider whether an Aboriginal person could meet the definition of an alien. In a controversial ruling, the High Court found that Indigenous Australians, like Brendan Toms, do not meet that definition. And effectively what it does is creates almost a new category of people in Australia. You're neither a citizen under the Australian Citizenship Act, but nor a non-citizen. Since the ruling, Daniel Gabuma, Brendan Toms and at least eight other Indigenous men have been released from immigration detention. But despite being freed, Daniel is living in limbo. His visa has not been reinstated, which means he cannot legally work or access welfare. I should be given the opportunity to be like any other Australian or any other Indigenous person who have the rights to live and work as a citizen of this country. The Australian government is now seeking to have the landmark ruling overturned, arguing the judges got it wrong. In submissions to the High Court, the government says the judges' reasoning was inconsistent and raised concern about the power it gives Indigenous people to decide who lives in Australia. If the ruling is overturned, it could leave people like Daniel Gabuma vulnerable to deportation yet again. The implications are significant. The likelihood is that they would never be able to return uh, to, to their country. It's also a concern for Dunda Koigat, a Papua New Guinean citizen. I'm feeling scared to go back to PNG. If I get back to PNG, I will be killed. Because I have death threats back in PNG. He was charged with drug trafficking in 2017 and released from immigration detention in April last year after proving his Torres Strait Islander heritage. Dunda applied for a humanitarian protection visa but was knocked back. It's disappointing. It's disappointing. Um, you know, I feel for the men who are affected by this. There's a total deprivation of this group of people's access to exercising their own civil liberties. A spokesman for the Attorney General told 7.30 the Australian government respects the High Court's decision and is acting in accordance with the ruling. But the government will ask the High Court to revisit the decision this year. Advocates say instead of fighting the decision, the government should implement new policies to recognise the rights of Indigenous non-citizens to live and work in Australia.
there's a total deprivation of this group of people's access to exercising their own civil liberties. And almost two years since his release from immigration detention, Daniel Gabuma just wants to get on with his life. I need to be given the rights as a human being to get back once more into the society, get a job, pay tax, and give something back to this country. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.